How to sustain success? If you have once touched very high levels of productivity but just could not sustain it, or you were once motivated to reach your goals but somewhere along the line, your fire died out then stick around because in this video we would be covering valuable tips on how to sustain high levels of success and productivity. Welcome future millionaires to another episode on this channel. If you are new here, you are welcome to Millionaire by 25 YouTube channel. The best place on the internet to get inspiration and information about wealth, business and making money online. Be sure to subscribe so that you can be informed when we put out new amazing videos like this one. So, without wasting any more of your precious time, let's get into the video. The simple most valuable piece of advice I can give anyone is that motivation isn't enough to get you to the top. Today in the self-help industry, there is an overhype on motivation and being pumped to succeed. While motivation is important, it doesn't do much more than getting you started. Habit alone can keep you going. Here is a quote born of a lot of thought. Life isn't a sprint. It is a marathon. And only consistent daily action towards your goals will lead to long-term success. Follow my line of thought so that you can get what I am about to say. There are a lot of millionaires who made their money from the self-help industry preaching motivation and here is why. People are controlled more by their emotions than by reasoning. These speakers preach motivational content that inspires their audience. The people are now emotionally alive and now the self-help expert can sell his books or online courses to his audience at an exorbitant price. This is called funneling by the way and it is a common business model today. So, when they preach motivation to you, you get excited and then buy their courses or books. That's how they make their money. The thing about motivation is that it does not last forever. Most people return to their old routines after the fire gotten from feeling motivated goes. Notice the difference between when actual billionaires speak and when these self-help experts speak. While billionaires emphasize habit, self-help experts emphasize motivation, because motivation is emotion and emotion is what gets people ticking. There is reason they emphasize and sell motivation to you. It is beneficial to their brand. It is a business. My point is, if you really want to be successful, then listen to the actual successful people who are not trying to sell you anything. While growing up, at every opportunity I got, I tried to interact with people who I felt were more successful than I was. I would share the story of one such person in this video. We all called him Prodigy. And we called him Prodigy for a good reason. He once chose to score zero in a test because he felt he was unprepared. When the exams came, he made a perfect score. 70 out of 70. He was extremely brilliant, gifted, talented, whatever you want to call it. But I tell you this, he did not look pumped or motivated. As a matter of fact, he looked almost too tired and too quiet most of the time. But I didn't care, I admired what he was doing and I wanted to know how. So I scheduled a conversation with him. On that day, we sat to talk. I asked him. How long do you read? Judging from the incredible scores he consistently hit on all his courses, I expected that he reads all the time. He completely disappointed me and told me the exact opposite. He said he doesn't read for more than three hours at a stretch. After those three hours, he gets up to do something else. However, he told me something really important. He said he learns all the time, but not in the way I think. He constantly observes what is going on around him, people, movies, etc. He is analyzing it all in his head, and is learning from it. Most of us are unconscious about how we live our days and only focus when we are about to do something productive. Prodigy, on the other hand, learns round the clock. While three hours may not be enough to get you to your goals and dreams, three hours daily would put you ahead of 75% of the world. I am the motivation kinda guy. I love being pumped. I usually do not feel any form of satisfaction from my work unless I have pumped in at least five to six hours at a stretch. But guess what? I do not sustain that daily, and eventually, someone who consistently puts in three hours every day would be way ahead of me after about a year. So today I am learning something new. Life is a marathon and not a sprint. Daily consistent action towards your goal is what would get you there. This is the secret, and it is what most very successful people do. The only thing is, they put in 80 hours a week, which averages into about 12 hours daily, and they sustain that habit week in week out, year in, year out. The emphasis here is on habit and not motivation. Some days they are not motivated, but they get up and grind anyway. Eventually, they get to a point where if they are not grinding, they aren't happy. 
Surely habit isn't the only key to success, but I think it is grossly undermentioned. Let's take Gary Vaynerchuk for example. Some of you may already be familiar with him. He grew his father's wine business from $3 million a year in sales to $60 million in less than five years. He worked day in, day out. And it was more than a full-time job. He was not necessarily motivated. He was consistent. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Jim Ryan. So, knowing this much, how do you build habits that would ensure long-term success? The truth is, there isn't one magical habit. But I can recommend a few good ones and here they are. Number 1. Become more aware and conscious of yourself all day long. And a good way to go about this is meditation. There is already a lot of content about meditation out there so I would say no more about it. But something worth mentioning is that meditation is so revered by the billionaire, Oprah Winfrey, that she paid for a meditation course for all her 400 employees. In her opinion, meditation changed her life. She understands its power. Some other billionaires, like Bill Gates have also been noted with a habit of spending time away from everyone and social media every once in a while to evaluate their life. I really think it is an angle to meditation because meditation involves disconnecting with the outside world and connecting with your inner self and that is exactly what they are doing. During meditation, you come face to face with yourself. Number 2. Journaling. This would be the last one I would cover for this video because I don't want this video to be too long. But upon request, I could release more tips in another video. So please, let me know in the comment section if you want me to cover more tips in another video. Also, share your thoughts about this video there as well. It would mean a lot to me. Back to the video. Why is journaling so important? I will share a personal story. I once went through a very hard time at the university and during that time, I wrote in my journal a lot as a way of being honest with myself and coming face to face with what I really wanted out of life. I read the journal every once in a while and what happened was, my grades got better, and slowly I built my confidence back. When I was back to being myself however, I began to feel that journaling and reading the journal was a waste of my time, so I stopped. What happened was, my level of productivity dropped. When I was passing through that difficulty, I usually spent about an hour daily journaling. Now I had an extra one hour daily because I wasn't journaling anymore and yet, I was not hitting the same levels of productivity as I used to hit when I used to journal. And then it hit me. What you want to strive for is a conscious life. A life where you are fully aware of all your actions all the time. Journaling, and reviewing your journal, brings you one step closer to that goal. When journaling, you come face to face with yourself, at that point, you realize that you are not writing to please anybody. You are going to end up writing what is good for you. And if you review that journal often enough, it will keep you on track, ensuring that you get to your goals in the very end. I wish you a smooth road to success, my friends. Be sure to subscribe and share. Also check out this video on computer skills of the future if you have not already. I will see you in the next video. As always, stay energized.